Have you ever gazed up at the night sky and wondered what secrets it holds? The cosmos, a term that encompasses everything we know and even that which we don't, is a vast expanse of mystery and grandeur. It's a realm that stretches far beyond the confines of our tiny blue dot, the Earth, extending into the unknown, the uncharted, and the unimaginably massive. In the grand theater of the universe, stars are the sparkling artists, painting a breathtaking vista of lights across the velvet black canvas of space. They're not just mere points of light, but rather colossal fiery bodies, burning bright with nuclear fusion, each with their own unique tale to tell. Then there are galaxies, grand cosmic cities that house billions of these stars, along with a myriad of planets, asteroids, and comets. Our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is but one among possibly two trillion others, each with its own unique structure, size and story. But the cosmos is not merely about stars and galaxies, it's a stage where the fundamental laws of physics play out in the most dramatic and unexpected ways. From the warp and weft of space-time to the dance of subatomic particles, the universe is a symphony of cosmic forces and celestial bodies, each playing their part in the grand cosmic ballet, yet for all its grandeur and vastness, the cosmos is also a place of profound mystery. From dark matter to black holes, from the origins of the universe to its ultimate fate, there's much about the cosmos that remains unknown, waiting to be discovered. As we delve deeper into this video, we will unravel some of these mysteries and explore fascinating facts about the cosmos. We'll take a journey from the smallest subatomic particles to the largest galactic superclusters, from the birth of the universe to its distant future. The cosmos is a vast, mysterious place, full of wonders that we are only beginning to understand. As we embark on this journey together, let's remember to keep our minds open to the awe and wonder that the universe holds. After all, we are not just observers of this cosmic dance, but very much a part of it. Imagine for a moment, how big do you think the universe is? Let's put things into perspective. If you were to imagine our solar system as a coin, the entire Milky Way galaxy, which is home to our solar system, would be about the size of North America. Now, Bear in mind that the Milky Way is just one among an estimated two trillion galaxies in the observable universe. To further illustrate the enormity, consider this. If you were to travel at the speed of light, which is the fastest speed possible according to current scientific understanding, it would take you about 100,000 years to cross our Milky Way galaxy alone. And yet, the Milky Way is a mere speck in the grand scale of the universe. The universe doesn't stop at the edge of our vision, it continues far beyond what we can see with our most powerful telescopes. Scientists estimate that the universe extends around 93 billion light-years in diameter. That's the observable universe. Beyond that, it's thought to go on forever, infinitely expanding into the void. This expansion is a fascinating aspect of our universe. It's not that the galaxies are moving through space, but rather, Space itself is expanding, carrying galaxies along for the ride. Since the Big Bang, the universe has been expanding at an accelerating rate. The more it expands, the faster it seems to expand. So to answer the question, how big is the universe? Well, it's bigger than anything we can comfortably comprehend. It's constantly growing, constantly evolving, and constantly surprising us with its vastness and complexity. The universe, in its infinite expanse and eternal evolution, is a reminder of our own smallness and the fleeting nature of our existence. But don't let this make you feel insignificant. Instead, let it inspire awe, curiosity and a sense of adventure. After all, we are a part of this amazing cosmos, made of stardust and capable of understanding and exploring the universe around us. The universe is so large, it's almost incomprehensible to our human minds. Now think about how many galaxies there might be in this vast universe. The number of galaxies in the universe is mind-boggling. Until a few decades ago, we believed that there were about 100 billion galaxies out there. This was based on the observations made by the Hubble Space Telescope, which provided us with a window into the cosmos like never before. However, as our technology progressed, so did our understanding of the universe. In recent years, scientists have made an astonishing revelation. They now estimate that there are at least two trillion galaxies in the observable universe. Yes, you heard that right, two trillion. This is 20 times more than what we previously thought. 
This increase in the estimated number of galaxies is not because the universe suddenly sprouted new galaxies, rather, it's because our technology has become so advanced that we can now see galaxies that were previously too faint or too far away to be detected. These galaxies are not just conglomerates of stars and planets. They are the cradles of creation, the birthplaces of stars and possibly life. Each galaxy is a cosmos in its own right, with its own unique characteristics, its own history and its own potential for life. Yet, despite the vast number of galaxies, each one is incredibly unique. Some are spiral-shaped like our own Milky Way, others are elliptical or irregular. Some are teeming with stars and planets, while others are more sparse. Some are relatively young, while others have been around for billions of years. And yet, despite the vastness and diversity of the galaxies, they all share a common origin. They all came into existence from the same Big Bang, the same cosmic explosion that marked the beginning of our universe. This is the beauty and the mystery of the cosmos. It's vast, it's diverse, and it's incredibly complex. Yet at the same time, it's all interconnected, all part of the same grand cosmic story. Every one of those galaxies is a whole world of stars, planets, and possibly life waiting to be discovered. If we could rewind the cosmic clock, how far back could we go? This question ushers us into the realm of cosmic time a concept that might seem abstract and yet is fundamental to our understanding of the universe. The universe as we understand it is approximately 13.8 billion years old. This estimate isn't plucked out of thin air but is the result of meticulous scientific research and calculation. But how do scientists determine this age? Let's delve into the fascinating methods they employ. The primary way is by studying the oldest things within it. Cosmic microwave background radiation, the afterglow of the Big Bang, provides us with a window back to the universe's infancy, just a few hundred thousand years after its birth. This radiation permeates all of space and provides a snapshot of the universe at a very early age. Another method involves the study of the oldest known celestial bodies. Scientists observe and analyze the oldest white dwarf stars, remnants of stars like our Sun. These stellar fossils have been shining for billions of years and by understanding their life cycle we can infer the age of the universe. Now let's try to wrap our heads around the concept of light years and cosmic time. A light year is the distance light travels in one year, roughly 6 trillion miles. When we look at distant galaxies, we're seeing them as they were billions of years ago because their light has taken that long to reach us. This observation of the universe is essentially a journey back in time. In essence, the universe is like a grand cosmic clock ticking away for nearly 14 billion years. Every star we see, every galaxy we observe is a testament to this incredible passage of time. The universe has been around for an unimaginably long time and it's still changing and evolving. In the grand theater of the cosmos, the curtain is far from falling. The performance has been going on for billions of years and there's still much more to come. How fast can light travel and what does this mean for our exploration of the cosmos? Let's dive into this fascinating topic. When we talk about the speed of light, we're referring to a staggering speed of approximately 186,000 miles per second. To put this into perspective, if you could travel at the speed of light, you could orbit the Earth about seven and a half times in just one second. Now, this speed has profound implications for our understanding and exploration of the universe. You see, when we gaze at the stars, we're actually looking back in time. The light from distant stars takes years, even millennia, to reach our eyes. For instance, the light from our nearest star, Proxima Centauri, takes about 4.2 years to reach us. This means we see the star as it was 4.2 years ago, not as it is today. This concept also applies to the images we receive from our most distant space probes. The signals they send back to us are not in real time. They've traveled millions, if not billions of miles at the speed of light to reach us. This delay in communication poses a significant challenge for space exploration and understanding the far reaches of our universe. Furthermore, the speed of light places a limit on how quickly we can travel through space. Even if we could build a spacecraft that could travel at the speed of light, it would still take us 4.2 years to reach Proxima Centauri and a mind-boggling 2.5 million years to reach the nearest galaxy, Andromeda. So, the speed of light not only affects how we perceive the universe, but also how and when we can explore it. It's like a cosmic speed limit that we're bound by. A limit that adds to the mysterious and vast nature of the cosmos. 
While the speed of light might seem like a barrier, it also opens up a whole new way of understanding the cosmos. Are we alone in the universe or is there other life out there? This question has been the subject of countless debates, scientific inquiries, and even science fiction narratives. The possibility of alien life is indeed one of the most fascinating aspects of our exploration of the cosmos. Let's take a moment to consider the sheer enormity of the universe. With billions and billions of galaxies, each with countless stars and planets, it seems statistically improbable that Earth is the only planet to harbor life. But, of course, life as we know it requires very specific conditions. This brings us to the concept of the habitable zone, often referred to as the Goldilocks zone, where conditions are just right, not too hot, not too cold, for liquid water to exist, and where there's water, there's the potential for life. Scientists have been diligently scanning the cosmos for these Goldilocks planets. These are the exoplanets, worlds beyond our own solar system, with advanced telescopes such as Kepler and TESS, NASA has so far identified more than 4,000 exoplanets, some of which exist in their star's habitable zone. However, finding a planet in the habitable zone doesn't guarantee finding life. The next step is to look for biosignatures, certain gases in a planet's atmosphere that could only be produced by living organisms. This is a complex and challenging task. And it's where the next generation of telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope will play a crucial role. But even if we do find biosignatures, it's important to remember that this wouldn't necessarily mean intelligent life. It could simply be microbes or simple organisms. Still, such a discovery would be revolutionary, fundamentally changing our understanding of our place in the universe. So, are we alone in the universe? The truth is, we don't know yet. But every day we inch closer to answering this monumental question. The possibility of alien life is one of the most exciting mysteries of the cosmos. What does the future hold for our universe? A question as vast and deep as space itself. Our cosmic journey has brought us to a juncture where we ponder the ultimate fate of this expansive universe. Theories abound, each as intriguing and mind-boggling as the next. Let's delve into some of them, starting with the Big Freeze. The Big Freeze theory suggests that as the universe continues to expand, it will eventually become too spread out. Stars will burn out, galaxies will drift apart, and all will plunge into a cold, dark void. It's essentially a future where the universe becomes a desolate, icy wasteland, devoid of the energy needed for new star formation. Then we have the Big Rip theory. This one posits that the universe's expansion isn't just continuing, it's accelerating. And if it keeps speeding up, the gravitational forces holding galaxies, stars, planets, and even atoms together could be overcome. The universe would literally be torn apart, ripped to shreds by its own expansion. And finally, there's the Big Crunch theory. This is the cosmic equivalent of a boomerang effect. Instead of expanding indefinitely, the universe could reverse course and start contracting. Galaxies, stars, and all matter would be pulled back together, leading to a colossal cosmic crunch. This could potentially trigger another Big Bang, starting the cosmic cycle anew. Each of these theories paints a different picture of our universe's destiny. Yet, they all share a common thread, the understanding that the cosmos is constantly changing, evolving in ways we are still striving to comprehend. The future remains uncertain, shrouded in cosmic mystery, but it's this very uncertainty, this quest for knowledge, that fuels our fascination with the universe. It drives us to keep exploring, to keep asking questions, to keep reaching for the stars. So what does the future hold for our universe? Only time and continued cosmic exploration will tell. No matter what the future holds, the cosmos will continue to fascinate and inspire us. We've journeyed through the cosmos, uncovering some of its most fascinating secrets. We've marveled at the sheer size, a space so vast that it's almost beyond human comprehension. We've discussed the staggering number of galaxies, reminding us of the multitude of celestial bodies that exist beyond our own Milky Way. We've delved into the profound age of the universe, a timeline so long that it dwarfs the entire history of human existence. We've explored the speed of light, a speed so fast that it's become the cosmic speed limit, and we've contemplated the possibility of alien life, a topic that sparks our imagination and fuels our curiosity. We've also pondered on the future of the universe, a future filled with possibilities and uncertainties. 
The cosmos is a vast mysterious place full of wonders that we are only beginning to understand. As we continue to explore, who knows what other fascinating secrets we will uncover.